You're watching Fox 17 News. This security video shared with Fox 17 shows a suspect trying to break into a Gaines Township tobacco shop overnight. They couldn't get in, as you can see here. And then investigators say they tried this all over again at another shop just a few doors down, also unsuccessfully. Employees at both of those businesses telling me earlier today, this is nothing new. A note from the Kent County Sheriff's Office slid under the back door addressing what we see right here. A damaged door handle, the clear sign of an attempted break in and the latest example of an ongoing trend. It is definitely frustrating. Security footage that would be shocking to some came as no surprise to Dylan Cudney. Yeah, I got the call in the morning and I was like, OK, here we go again. Cudney is a district manager for Juiced Vapor. The tapes giving us a timeline of what happened overnight at the location on Kalamazoo Avenue in Gaines Township. Two suspects arriving just after 2 a.m., one on the lookout, the other trying to pry the door open. After nearly seven minutes, they give up and leave the frame. Moments later, law enforcement arrives. So our deputies are well aware that we've seen this increasing trend, um, especially since the summer of tobacco and vape shops being targeted. In fact, Juiced was not the only victim overnight. Just a few hundred feet away, the same suspects allegedly also tried and failed a backdoor break in at the tobacco shop. After a short chase, one suspect got away. The other, a 17 year old, was arrested. The reason and cause behind all of that sure there's a lot of factors in that, but we all ask ourselves the questions. If they're 17, if they're in school, what, what are they doing at 2 in the morning uh, on a Monday when school starts that Monday morning? Brunner says the Kent County Sheriff's Office has investigated more than 12 successful instances of targeted break-ins at these kinds of businesses since the start of July. That compared to only nine total from January through June. An employee here at the tobacco shop who didn't want to go on camera told me he's noticed the same trend. He said at least three of their other West Michigan locations have been broken into successfully in the last week alone. So they've been forced to install these, these giant metal bars by the front entrance as another safety net to prevent people from crashing through the glass to get into their store. Meantime, Cudney can recall at least seven similar examples at his stores in a little more than a year. I've got, I want it like two or else three detective cards in my wallet right now, just from the past times, for sure. Cudney says a couple thousand dollars of products have been stolen in that span, leaving law enforcement searching for a solution. Communities keep communities safe, so we need that support from our community, from the families uh, of these teens. And people like Cudney with a simple request. Stop. Stop doing it. It's a hassle. Just stop. A yeah, simple message right there. And like I mentioned, a 17 year old suspect was taken into custody. I last checked they're lodged at the Kent County Juvenile Detention Center. The other suspect got away, though, and I'm told there could be even more than that. So if you have any information that could help with the investigation, contact the Kent County Sheriff's Office or Silent Observer.